Okay, I've got a question in there. There's a question there. I'll let let you you read it. Okay. It's uh, it's directed to you anyway. Yep. Rick said he thinks it could be a high-energy weapon and explosives in the building all at once, both because we do have firemen and video control demolition flashes and explosives. Yeah, yeah, well, we've been through all that. We, we, it, this person, whoever's typed this, doesn't seem to have been listening. We already did all of that. The boom, boom, boom of explosions was almost certainly exploding tanks. It wasn't controlled the, the bad, demolition bad. because it's the not supported. Tanks. But yeah, and the oxygen tanks, which were on the on the fire trucks. We don't know if any ex- oxygen tanks exploded while they were on the guys back in the towers. It, it, that may well have happened. It might have killed them. In which way we don't have. It wasn't both. There was no need to have explosives in the towers because all of the destruction was done with the system. You know, this is the kitchen sink approach. If there was explosions, you would have had, oh, sorry, if there were bombs going off of sufficient size, you would have seen that as seismic effect. We didn't see that. We didn't see that. The building wasn't cut into chunks. You know, we say this, if, 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 if it sounds like there's frustration in my voice, it's because there is. However many times you say this, people have been brainwashed by the 9-11 truth movement and Stephen um, Jones and Stephen e. Jones, uh, and put into this talk of uh, bombs. I'm sorry if it sounds that like I'm being, you know, uh, shirty with people, but that's we've been talking about this right for um, seven years, seven years. Yeah, but we talked. We talked about the angle cut core columns. That was oxyacetylene torches on the ground. We don't have any angle cut core columns. From high up in oh, the towers, oh. because all of the all of those columns were turned to dust. You can actually see that in the videos. I know you're not so, saying. Um, I know you're not saying Judy you, Woody. Yeah, you can you, say both you, if you want, but it's not supported by the evidence. He's typing in the chat window. So yeah, there yeah. was a, there was a there was a, there was a, a degree of rubble left behind, and then that Correct. had to be removed, Correct. didn't it? We've already covered so, that. Um, We've, we've already yeah, covered so, that. Yeah, so said, the, the angle, said, what, what people 20. say is the thermite cutting, is the them removing the rubble away. So they, they have to go in, cut it out, and then you know the steel beams that the ship, the, the steel beams that did get shipped out, is the remainder, the, the little right. tiny piece that was left behind, right. not now, the uh, just, actual just destruction to, of the towers. To, right. If I just may emphasise that, we said earlier on that approximately eighty percent of the buildings were turned to dust. Right. So that leaves us with approximately 20 storage which weren't turned to dust. So you're still going to have a substantial proportion of steel beams that you need to do something with, right? So yep. you're still going to need to cut those up in some way, all right? And it's certainly possible, right, that they used some thermite to cut up those beams while they were on the ground after, 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 after the towers were the destroyed, event. right? Yep. After, so, after the day. Yeah. So you can talk about bombs and explosives. You can talk about nukes if you want. That's fine. That's absolutely fine. But we know, all know about bombs. We all know about nukes. We've heard about them since we were at school, right? What you're seeing and what the pictures show you is a new process, one which has never been seen before. All you have to do is look at the videos and look at some of the pictures we've sh- shown you tonight. You can see that process in action before your very eyes, right? Now, just to digress slightly, um, but still on this theme, since we started pointing this out, somebody called Simon Shack has started saying all, and I do mean all, the videos and photographs of the events of 9-11 are fake. Now, why would somebody like Simon Shack want to say that all, and I do mean all, the videos and photographs are fake? He says... He's the, the, he's the guy behind the um, September Clues, yeah? Correct, correct, correct. If it is correct that these these um, buildings turn to dust and we have videos of them, and that's the thing that has to be covered up, what better way to say that all the videos are fake and we had actors making up you know, all the uh, accounts and witnesses? This is what Simon Shack says and other people... Um, have said have said the same thing and followed him. Now, this has become a huge problem. I actually had a friend who believed this, and Simon Shack uh... claims, for example, Simon Shack claims, for example, that Judy Wood's study is unreliable because she relies on video evidence, photo evidence, for her uh, conclusions. Well, Simon Shack appears to have forgotten some of the things we haven't yet covered. For example, uh, one thing we have covered is the seismic evidence. That's not images yeah. or video. 
The other thing is weather reports, which we haven't even got to yet. That's in Dr. No, Judy. Well, she was looking at the oh, she was looking at the smoke coming up, wasn't she? The, the, not the smoke because the smoke implies fire. She was looking at um, fumes coming up, yeah. and she took yeah. a satellite. She looked at the satellite photos, and um, on the satellite photos, she saw the weather effects of that day. Absolutely. You, you again. You you know. You, I'm glad that you've studied this so well, uh, Matthew. And it's it, it's actually fairly straightforward stuff. I'll see if we can find that picture of the. Uh, of the fuming, it might not be on this. barking in my area. I, don't, I, I, I everyone can hear my dog barking. I'm trying to walk away from it, but I, I want to be near my computer, so I'm, I'm oh, walking back to the phone. <laughs> the, 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 the canines, uh, you know, they do, uh, and the cats. I've got a cat on my knee, but he's, he's very sleepy. He's, he's 19 years old, so he's, he's very sleepy. Um, right, let's go to this picture, because you, you've uh, skillfully brought us to this subject. OK, so that image, if people want to click on that, is one of the images that Dr. Judy Wood was investigating because she was interested in trying to find out a bit more about this fuming because we don't want to say the towers were smoking because that implies fire. Yes, there was some fire. We saw some fire. We're not saying there's no fire. you know. And we're not saying there were no explosive sounds. I don't think there were any bombs, but, but I don't... I do think there were explosive sounds. I know there were because... You know, we, we can hear them on uh, some videos and we've got witness, multiple witness reports of them. So it's commonly put around the Internet that Judy Wood denies explosions and she denies this and she denies that. All you have to do is look at what's in the contents page of her book. Again, anybody wants a scan of that, it's on my website. I've recently had to reiterate this again to people because it's been claimed again by Richard Gage and Dane Wigginton that she doesn't cover this evidence. She does. It's on the website. It's all in her book. So it's yet another lie by members of the 9-11 Truth Movement. Um, but yes, going well, back to say, the... Another sorry. an explosion that takes a burnt paper, and there's no paper burnt. The paper don't burn in, in this right. world of World Trade Center world. These are, these, that's right. The, the World Trade Center explosives don't burn the paper. So what's going on? Molten metal, again, is another claim. Oh, Judy Wood denies molten metal. Not true. Not true. What, what is denied is that it was, it was uh, significantly hot. That yep. is what is denied. Right? We don't, dis dis um, we don't say that the firemen that reported molten metal were lying. What we do suggest is that that metal was not hot because this is a, a, another process that we're looking at part of which is justification, and there are other strange effects which, again, we might get on to. Well, the, effect, the effects lingered, didn't they? The, the justification happened, but the effects continued to carry on because well, they, they claimed that the, the people, the rescue workers, were walking across the hot rubble and melting the steel toe caps because they keep having to bring these boots in because these boots keep getting melted and melted. And so they keep having to replace the boots for the, for the workers. But yet you, you don't hear cases of burnt feet. It's just like... Correct. But, Correct. Yeah, they, so they were claiming something else is no heat. Something else. It's something else. You're absolutely right, Matthew, because the workers were claiming that the boots were melting. You know, we've got that famous video clip, and Dr. Wood plays this in one of her presentations. So, again, she doesn't deny it. She played that in her Madison 2007 presentation. Again, if people want to find that, I can give them links if they can't find it themselves. Uh, I've got links on my website. And if you've got a, something that's hot enough to melt rubber boots and you're standing on it for any length of time in you know, a minutes, you're going to get burnt boots. feet. Yeah, yeah, you're going, to, you're going to get burnt feet. No no reports of any burnt feet. You know, something else is going on here. Something else is going on. We're looking at a different type of process which is affecting these things. I want to go back to the image of the fumes coming up, because that image that says browse at the end, the one I just pasted, um, let's see, I think you've maybe reposted it, haven't you? Um yeah. Yeah, we haven't, we haven't talked about the hijackers and the planes. We're not, we're, we might have time to get to that, but we can, we can talk about that another time. I've got, I've got a whole page about this, uh, that people can look at if they want, which mentions some of that as well. Um, yeah, let's just, so I we've got this. Trade center today. Right. Yeah, I agree. So we've got this picture with the sort of white sort of fume cloud going up. Um, so what's that? This is what Dr. Wood was investigating, why we've got this sort of faint, darker cloud which is kind of drifting slightly to the uh, let's get my compass right to the northwest 
and then you've got this white cloud which is actually going southwest and then there's got like a dog leg in it she was interested in that so if you go down that wtc page a little bit oh, yeah, further there's, there's two different types of fumes coming off there's, this this is not just one type there's not just white if you look really no. if you zoom on in on that image you can see the darker yep. fumes coming out that's right that's right that's right yeah it's a little bit um you know indistinct but it is there you can, you can actually see it fairly clearly you know if you if you study it i've done it again i've done it i keep closing the wrong thing oh no i haven't it's there I mean, such a dipstick this time. And that's what she found. She was looking for these images, and that's what Dr. Judy would have found. That that wasn't, she didn't find that until about February 2008. February 2008, when, when, she, when she made that discovery. Why was nobody talking about this, everybody? And this image, if you can, you zoom in on it, you will see that you've got Long Island, right? You've got the hurricane, obviously. This was taken... On 9/11. Have you posted an image? Have you yep. posted an image in? Oh, okay. Yep, yep. It's in the, it's in the, yeah, yeah. Uh, it's in the chat window. Wow. Wow. Oh, wow. Oh, and, yeah, yeah, that's the one. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then, if you look over to the left of the image on the coastline, obviously, you've got like that sort of uh, I don't know what to call it. It looks like a sort of finger or a finger coming out, a big sort of finger, sort of pointing. And that's actually Long Island. And then you've got that hook. Uh, oh, I've, yeah. got an Im- I've got an image, actually, where it, it highlights where there is. Let me paste that in. Yeah, yeah, yeah. You, okay, if you've got that, great. Yeah, stick that in. Um, and you've got Long Island, and then you've got uh, just at the, the sort of western end of Long Island, you've got a, you can see the plume from the World Trade Center. This was on 9 11. This is another thing that Richard Gage won't talk about, or David Ray Griffin, or yeah. Webster Tarpley, or in fact, hardly anybody will talk about this evidence. Well, but, the, the uh, Hurricane Erin. Hurricane Erin. Hurricane Erin. Well, Hurricane Erin's, the implications of Hurricane Erin are huge. It's huge. not just... It's huge. It's yeah, huge. Yeah, it's it means huge. complete mass mani- manipulation of media because there were no coverage. It means weather manipulation because there were no coverage, so there were no fear of it doing anything other than they wanted it to do. It's exactly. uh, it, unbelievable implications of the hurricane area. And what I want to highlight to people is the again, we have you know we uh, Judy would went on to the Power Hour. That's Joyce Riley's program a couple of years ago, and we've got a recording of this. And um, she pointed out the hurricane stuff, and uh, the, the, a caller came in and accused her of lying, said that this hurricane didn't exist because. Hurricane Erin was a 2004 hurricane, hurricane and you know, it went nowhere near New York. And uh, Joyce Riley let this hang for about 30, 40 minutes on her program before she actually corrected herself. And it's easy to find out that the name Hurricane Erin was not retired. It was not retired. And what I want to show people, which is to me one of the most important pieces of 9 11 evidence there is, um, because it, it starts to begins to join things up a little bit with other fields of research is that image right there. That's the track of Erin. I'd like people to take a good look at that. And again, go and find other versions of it. There are three or four different versions from different uh, weather centres. I know that the Canadian Hurricane Data Centre has uh, a copy of this, which looks... looks These are all official images, aren't they? These are are all from all the weather proper... You can still get them today if you go to proper... Yeah, Yeah, you just need to go to the right archive. Some Some of them have moved around since these... Images were first posted uh, in 2008, but uh, they're they're mainly still there. You just need to look for them. 